Lisa Clark here. Thanks for tuning in. And we're in Oyster Part 4. And yes, we are going to get to the pearl in this video. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> um, more blending, more softening, getting that depth perception right there that I wanted to achieve in that part of the, the shell right there to make it look like it kind of curves in a little bit, creating that shadow effect. Uh, lots of blending, circular motion, I'd say soft to medium touch. This pastel board, it does not require a hard touch, um, which is another reason why I absolutely love it. So a little bit more shadow going on right here and just blend it out. And that is not a white. Um, I believe that's like actually a soft, uh, really light color gray. Um, so, and that, that helped a lot that, that pencil was like my savior in this <laughs> project. There's that violet again, a little bit to that curve right there. Um, is it exact as the reference photo? No, but I actually love that violet so much that I kind of created more lines right over there, even though it wasn't in the reference photo. So <laughs> that was my choice. I'm the artist. I can do what I want. So that's what I did. I added a little violet right there. So here we go. Diving into this pearl in that magenta purple or magenta pink. Sorry. Um, very, very bright pink color. So I think I mentioned in a previous video, I only had one pink Carbazello soft pastel pencil. So I already knew going in before I even started this project that I was going to have to use some other pencils to create the different shades going on with this beautiful, shiny pearl. Um, and when we get to that, that real bright, shiny spot on the pearl, I will share with you um, some of the colors that went into that. Um, it was very interesting. So... Anyway, right now we're working on the pearl. And even though my color isn't exactly like the color of the pearl, I was okay with that. I love this color. So I will um, introduce uh, a white and I think like a creamy, almost grayish white soft pastel pencil to, um, to that magenta pink, that bright pink. Um, to tone it down or brighten it up in different spots depending on what I was going for But as usual, I do recommend if you need something to be super super bright white in this case um, Lay that down before you do any other colors around it or in that in that spot And that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna lay this is um, literally titanium white going on right here, but we are going to soften it don't worry. <laughs> I would never leave that pearl with that very obvious white spot right there. Um, I will be toning it down. There we go. Yeah, it's like a greenish yellow. <clears throat> Excuse me, a greenish yellow tinge. And that's going to create that like out of focus um, effect that I see in the reference photo. And then you just need to blend those two colors together to create like a, instead of a line there between the white and that yellow green, it'll just kind of blend. It'll soften together. It just takes a couple goes at it and it will happen. I promise it will happen. Um, I even decided, let's try to see what happens when I put the pink right over that yellow green. And that's like, okay, I kind of like that. That works. We still need to soften that line between. So I'm going to try to soften that up a little bit. And so that it almost looks out of focus in a way. It's so bright in the middle of that white spot. And then it blends out like a starburst. So that's what I'm doing. I'm blend, blend, blend. Um, and this pastel board, oh wow, you can really put some layers on it, in my opinion. I loved it. I could change my mind, go a different direction. It, it, it was great. I loved it. I love working on this stuff. I will definitely be using it again. If you have any suggestions on uh, what subject I should try next, I'm open to those suggestions. So leave me a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all have been so awesome. 
thank you for hitting the subscribe button. It's just amazing. And I'm so proud of me and so thankful to everybody who has supported this channel by hitting that subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, I just, it's, I just been so pleased. So yay, we got the pearl down. We're getting the basic layer in there, the basic first layer. And we're going to work on that more. And we're going to do some more of the blending of the different colors in the next few videos. So that's part four. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.